Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day today. As you've already seen my thumbnail, it's clear that we're gonna set up our half yearly bullet journal. Though I've been using the same notebook since April and I was using both of my journal at the same time. I didn't enjoy my previous notebook because it was a ring binder and I prefer a book binder notebook for my bujo. If you haven't seen my previous setup, I'll add a card here in the top, so do check that out. Let's start setting up this notebook by writing my name on it. On the next page, I'm adding my keys again as I've changed some of my notation in the previous month. I'm using a simple color palette containing pink, gray and black for this setup rather than the black and white like the first half future log. I'm using Tombow Duo brush pen in shade 772 which is a blush color and N95 which is a light warm grey color. Also I'm using a black and warm grey markers from Krala Super Tips which come in the pack of 50. If you're curious about all my supplies they are given in the description below. Talking about the theme, it's an abstract design with some circles and dotted and wavy black lines. For the cover page, it's a little different from the previous one and I don't want to make it complex. So I'm writing 2021 with bold glitters and then adding some abstract bodies behind the letters. It's really easy to draw because I have already sketched this out before. The next spread is my grid spacing cheat sheet to make life easier. I wanted to make a foldable grid but I saw Laura from Art and Foss came up with this amazing idea. So the full credit goes to her. I'll link her video in the description. I've already cut a page from the bottom pages of my notebook. I've been using the same layouts that need to be counted by grids and divided in a half, third or quarter. I think you know how to use it, if you don't know you'll probably see me using this in the next video. To secure this page, Laura used two cutouts from an envelope for each side of the page. As I don't have any envelope in my hand, so I've decided to make two holders by hand. I've already made one and for the next one I'm folding a piece of paper diagonally and folding it up again. And then just cut it as it can make a pocket outside of the corner. Then cut the excess and stick it with glue or double sided tape. I'm using double sided tape as it's stronger than a stick glue. On the next spread, I'm making a feature log. From now, I'm gonna use my alphabet stamps for a while. 
my next part is the things to check spread where i'm gonna write my checklist of movies books tv shows and music this spread is inspired by amanda richley Next part is for my goals and affirmation. If you have seen the previous journal setup, you have probably noticed that I made it individually. But now I'm making a single page for both of them. I forgot that affirmation word would take more spaces than this little box. Do this kind of mistake bother you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. My next spread is dedicated to my content on YouTube and Instagram. I always taste with so many ideas but forgot after some times when I actually need them. So it's safe if I just add a section for my ideas and details about my contents. Also I'm adding a small tracker on both of the pages. Both of the spreads have the same layout with the same sections. I want to keep a section for the rest of my months where I can write my overviews after each month. Like how this month has passed, does it have some good days or not, something like this. If you have noticed it or not, I am skipping bold headers for this setup because I don't feel like making huge headers for each spread. And I just kinda like how it looks now. This is the very last spread of my setup which is my memory page. I would love to add multiple pictures as memories with some decoration. It will be fun, right? Oh, I just made another mistake. Mistakes and me are just best friends, you know? <laughs> Okay, it's time for the final flip through. I really love talking with you guys after two months, I guess. Mm, bullet journal community is the loveliest community I've ever belonged to. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.